And let us not, let us not, let us not be weary, let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap, we shall reap, if we faint not, as we have the for opportunity. Let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. And let us not, let us not, let us not be weary, let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap, we shall reap. If we fail not today, today marks ten years since the nation of TK was founded by then children, many, if not all of us are no longer children. The events of the last three years cannot be understated, but the last ten years is a history that ought not be forgotten should be a lesson. The nation, 10 years ago, didn't exist. And now, 10 years after such, what is left of that nation? It is not much left of that nation. But what is left is surviving, only surviving. A dream, an idea of a nation, whatever it were, that dream of a nation has became over 10 years a reality. And I ask you, what is the worth of it? What have we gained and what have we lost? For many of us, we have lost many things. Many of us have bled for the nation that which now stands divided. Yet, able to stay. We must remember those that have fought for the nation. We must never forget them. We may, may we never forget the sacrifice of so many. May we never. May we never forget their sacrifice or their blood that has been shed, lest we forget that we are a nation. Are we to forget the battles of old or the fights that now are edged into history? Are we to forget the friendships we have won and we have lost? Are we to forget the mistakes and learn from them? Are we to forget the mistakes and not learn from the mistakes, from the mismanagement?
from inaction. Shall we forget all the mistakes and sleep soundly? Or have we left the nation to itself? I implore those cities who still look to that dream that only three years ago was a burning light, then I tell you, I tell Corby and any others that seek to be one again, come together now. For there is with us a general connection. We may be from all parts of what was once a great nation, but we are still of that great nation. Though we have been divided by our factions, and though many cities and peoples have insulted each other and seek violence against each other and seek to destroy each other with war, and to lie, to trick, to deceive their fellow brothers. To the ruler of Corby, there is one thing to say. Where? Where shall the conflict end? What are we to do when our lives are forgotten as much as it is on the sand beach? When our lives are as nothing as a sand castle on a beach and the waves come and cover it and you never, never perceive that there was ever a castle there. That is where we are heading. As the Ecclesiastes reads, vanity of vanities, all is vanity. Without God, everything is vain. Your works can't save you. Come to Christ while there is hope while there is hope the nation will pass away and all the things we have fancied shall pass away and there comes a day when we all shall return to dirt. I ask you, what will then be the meaning of our battles, of our sacrifices, when we are in the dead, when we become among the dead? I implore you to come to Jesus Christ now, while he is calling, while he is calling, come. This nation was founded by Christian children. If that falls, if that element of the nation falls, there is no nation. So I tell you, stand strong. and submit yourself to God's will. Thank you.